Welcome back to the Professor's Lab. I'm Professor V, and this is round two of the League Cup that happened at Die Hard Games on February 24th, 2024. If you didn't know, Die Hard League happens every Thursday at 6 p.m. Central, featuring casual and tournament play of whatever format anyone wants, really. More info in the description. Temporal Forces Prelist is starting Saturday, March 9th at 1 p.m., and League Challenge Thursday, March 21st at 6 p.m., all Central Time, all at Die Hard Games, and check out Pokemon's event locator for premier events at the shop, such as League Challenges, League Cups, and Pre-Leases. Please hit that like button right quick, subscribe to this channel, ring the bell for notifications, say what you need to say in the comments, and all that other good free stuff, but anyways, let's get researching this game. On the left, Tinkaton. On the right, Lost Zone. Looks like our Lost Zone player is starting things off with a flower selecting here, looking at the top two cards of the deck, keeping one card and sending the other to the Lost Zone. You guys know about all that by now, right? <laughs> How many times are we going to say that throughout Comfy's lifespan? Probably the whole thing as a Battle VIP pass is sent to the Lost Zone. That other card must have been really good. Manually retreat into that second Comfy, second flower selecting being used here. Another not so obvious one as a lost vacuum is sent to the lost zone. Okay. Interesting. I really wonder what was kept off of that battle VIP pass as things are passed over to our Tinka Tink player here. We'll get into what Tinka Tink EX does if it becomes relevant here. For now, a Ralts is put onto the bench and things are passed over wow instantly to our lost zone player here not good for our tinka tink fans here as our lost zone player uses another flower selecting sending a mawile into the lost zone manually retreating into that second comfe another flower selecting being used here pokey stop hitting the lost zone we have four cards in the lost zone as you all know, that's a magic number here, as a Pokestop will be played here. Pokestop is a um, stadium card that has the player discard the top three cards of the deck, and they could put back into their hand any item cards that were discarded in this way. So let's see, we got a Nest Ball and a couple energies hit off of that Pokestop. Uh, not the worst in the world, because these Lost Zone decks like to play um, lots of energy recursion. Uh, but the nest ball is good, and I wonder what that nest ball is going to find. <laughs> I think we're just missing the Cramorant here. Uh, but actually, our player looks like they're going for the Radiant Greninja, potentially. They're actually just seeing what's in the deck here. So Cramorant will be the target. And you can see our player arranging the energy cards and the Pokemon cards on their deck. Uh, they're just prize checking, uh, seeing what cards might be in the prizes, so that way they can know better what they're working with. So the known thing that players do during their uh, first deck search, take a little bit extra time to see what's in there. They can even take notes uh, about what's prized or really whatever they want. <laughs> Just as long as it's done in a timely fashion. It looks like our player's done with that nest ball search. Of course, Cramorant was found and put onto the bench there. It has the Lost Provisions ability that says if there's four more cards in the Lost Zone, it can spit innocently for 110 damage for free. Another Comfy hits the bench. Switch into that Cramorant. And is it time to start spitting? With the four cards in the Lost Zone, yes takes the KO on the 70 HP Tinka Tinka Tink. This play resumes over on its side. A replacement Tinka Tinka Tink put onto the bench. Pokey stop being used here. And oh not a good Pokey Stop. Double turbo energy and boss's orders hit the discard pile while a useless battle VIP pass hits the hand. Um, the active Ralts evolves in the Curlia. Curlia uses its refinement ability to discard a card and draw two more cards. Okay, the battle VIP pass was all right to discard there, so not completely useless here, but it's still not looking good as things pass are passed back over to our lost zone player. Ooh. 
That's Pokemon, though. Sometimes you ha you have these games. As our Lost Zone player uses a Switch cart to switch into a Comfe, it uses Flower Selecting here to continue to populate that Lost Zone with a Super Rod and other card kept. Switch cart into a second Comfe, second Flower Selecting, sending a Nest Ball to the Lost Zone and keeping that all-important Chorus Experiment supporter. That will be instantly played, and it lets the player look at the top five cards of the deck, and then they send two of them to the Lost Zone and the other three into the hand. Looks like Manaphy and his two in Heavy Ball hit the Lost Zone off of that chorus there. Our Lost Zone player is accumulating a big hand here as they play an Escape Rope. The opponent promotes a new active Pokemon first, then they do the, do the same. Not very much choice for our opponent here as the third Comfe moves to the active spot and uses the third flower selecting of the turn. Uh, Countercatcher sent to the Lost Zone here. Very good because our player's ahead of prizes and it's looking like they're going to stay uh, based, stay ahead based off their opponent's board. Dragonite V hits the bench here and that Forest Seal Stone is attached to it. It looks like they are using that Forest Seal Stone V-Star Ability Star Alchemy to search the deck for any card. Let's see how many cards are in the Lost Zone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards in the Lost Zone. So when there's seven or more, Mirage Gate can be played. So let's see. It looks like the V Star Star Alchemy found Radiant Greninja. It hits the bench. Energy attached to the active Comfe in order to manually retreat. Next is a energy recycler to cycle back into the deck from the discard. Five basic energy cards. And we got that Mirage Gate, right? Yep. Double Mirage Gate being played here. As long as there's seven or more cards in the lost zone, uh, that player can search their deck for two different basic energy cards and attach them to their Pokemon in any way that they like. Lightning and Water going on to the active there. Another Water getting attached to it as well. Might as well attach the Lightning to the bench. Now Radiant Greninja has a, not only a powerful ability, it has a powerful attack. Moonlight Shuriken. Discard two energy from this Pokemon and you could do 90 damage to two of your opponent's Pokemon. And look on the other side of the field there are two less than 90 HP Pokemon remaining, so Radiant Greninja cleans up this very quick round two game. What do you think of this video in the commentary? Please let me know in the comments. Like this video, subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time in the Professor's Lab.